and accessories and a $500 gas card or your first for three payments free. Contact your Subaru dealer. Now from your News 1130 Weather Center, let's have a look at the five-day forecast. Uh, today is mainly sunny, windy with a high to 10. Then tonight, mainly clear, drops to a low to 1. And for Tuesday, it's mainly sunny tomorrow with a high of 8. The good times keep on coming. For Wednesday, it's morning fog patches burning off to mainly sunny at the high to 9. And then a mix of sun and cloud to end the work week off. Both Thursday and Friday, mix of sun and cloud with highs of 10. It's not at the airport, 8 in the valley. Downtown sunny at 9 degrees. Traffic and weather for Pacific Blue Cross. Get a retirement health plan with the most coverage for British Columbians at PacificBlueCross.ca. If you can't listen to traffic on the radio, get your updates on Twitter. Follow us. We're at News 1130 Traffic. News 1130 Insider Exclusive. This month, insiders can enter online to win a $1,000 counseling package to Jericho Counseling. Make the right call with Jericho Counseling. Become an insider at CityNews1130.com. Fueled by Delari. Start your experience now at Delari.ca. 253 at News 1130. The U.S. Supreme Court has heard arguments about President Donald Trump's plan to exclude undocumented immigrants from the census count. The country allots congressional seats based on a count of all residents. President Trump sought a new approach, excluding undocumented immigrants. New York Solicitor General Barbara Underwood told the Supreme Court it rejects the intent of the framers of the Constitution. People who live in a state without lawful immigration status still live there. They are not invisible. Solicitor General Jeffrey Wall conceded this historical precedent but said it didn't matter. The fact that you've got a fairly unbroken practice doesn't necessarily mean it's constitutionally compelled. Excluding undocumented immigrants from the count would likely hurt states more liberal and urban. Aaron Katursky, ABC News, New York. What is expected to be the biggest vaccination campaign in U.S. history is facing several challenges. The federal government says it's ready to move the vaccines within 24 hours of regulators authorizing emergency use. Emory School of Medicine's Dr. Carlos Del Rio says that's just the start. The challenge is going to be the administration. The challenge is going to be the storage. Pfizer's vaccine, for example, needs to stay ultra cold, around minus 94 degrees Fahrenheit. Imagine keeping the vaccine colder than Antarctic temperatures all through the last mile. Darren Zerong at the global health nonprofit group PATH calls it extremely challenging. Moderna's vaccine also starts frozen, but the company says it can be thawed and refrigerated for 30 days. AstraZeneca shots don't need to be frozen at all. Sagar Magani, Washington. And it seems we're happier with our wireless TV and internet providers this year. While overall complaints fell 19% from last year, the Commission for Complaints for Telecom Television Services reports billing continues to be the top issue. The 12 months ending July 31st included the start of the COVID-19 pandemic, which forced many people to rely on telecom services to work, study, and socialize. Wireless services accounted for 44% of all complaints, followed by internet services at 27% and TV services at 14%. Don Kelly, the Canadian Press. Not your business news with Stuart McGinn in 60 seconds. Winter hits. Oh no. Dealership says it'll take three weeks to get your winter tires on. Panic sets in. You need your car. Your palms sweat. Your heart beats faster when suddenly you hear this ad and realize you can just come in for a same day, no appointment winter tire change at Mr. Lube. You are welcome, Mr. Lube. Ready when you are. Drop by Mr. Lube anytime and enjoy their stay in your car tire service on your schedule. No appointment needed. Mr. Lube. Canadian owned and operated since 1976. The second wave of COVID-19 is here. That's why new rules are in place to help protect the people we love. And to keep our schools, businesses, and workplaces open safely. We must all say no to gatherings with people from outside our immediate household and avoid unnecessary travel outside our community. This isn't forever. Let's pull together to bend the curve back. Learn more at gov.bc.ca slash COVID-19. A message from the Government of British Columbia. Business news brought to you by Meridian Meats and Farm Market. Here's Stuart McGinn. A losing start to the trading week on Wall Street, but it brought an end to an otherwise impressive month. The Dow was down 271 points to 29,639. It had its best month, though, since 1987, up nearly 12% in November. The S&P fell 16 points today. Its gains in November, 10.8%. The Nasdaq up 11.8% in November. It fell today 7 points to 12,190. 
98. Moderna was one of Wall Street's big winners today. Another 2 million doses of its COVID-19 vaccine were secured by the UK. The country now having enough for 3.5 million people. And Britain is set to become the first nation to approve a vaccine and could be offering it within days. Moderna has also officially requested FDA emergency use authorization for its vaccine. The biotech company's stock was up by 20% today. Its competitor, Pfizer, is the UK's biggest partner. The country securing 40 million doses of that vaccine. Pfizer stock was up today by nearly 3%. Well, Sunday was the busiest day for U.S. airports since March. 1.2 million people took a flight as they made their way back home from their Thanksgiving destinations despite health officials' advice for everyone to stay put for the holiday. But the totals still aren't close to normal with the number of travelers twice as high around this time last year. According to JetBlue Airways, booking trends remain volatile despite recent growth. The airline expects demand to be uneven well into 2021 and plans to fly only half its normal schedule for the remainder of this year. Overall, JetBlue is projecting a 70% drop in revenue for 2020. Its stock fell 4% to start off the week. On Bay Street, the TSX lost 191 points, a drop of more than a percent to 17,205. It did have a good month of November as well, though, up 10.4%. Gold fell today, $8.20 to 1779 the ounce. Oil was down too, a drop of nearly a percent to $45.15 a barrel. The Canadian dollar right now at 77.06 cents US. It was up a tenth. At the Business Center, I'm Stuart McGinn. Season's greetings and eatings from all of us at Meridian Meats and Meridian Farm Market. Our boneless turkey breast roasts are here for the holidays, and I promise you, they are fabulous. Artisan made, in store, fresh every day, with free run Fraser Valley turkey. Available with or without stuffing. Pick one up today or reserve yours for Christmas at meridianmeats.ca. Meridian Meats. Holiday turkey breast roasts. I'm bringing it home. Meridianmeats.ca. Colin Brown here. This is for all you optional private auto insurance customers. I know. Those other folks are leaving town and taking your optional auto insurance with them. But don't worry. Stratford is here for you. 80% of BC drivers get a better deal with Stratford. And we're here to stay. So, if you had private optional coverage before, get it back. With Stratford. Find your Stratford broker at stratfordsaves.ca. Catherine Tyndale is taking care of citynews1130.com for us this hour. Tamara Sebastian is our producer this afternoon. It's 3 o'clock. News 1130 is CKWX Vancouver. Stay connected on your smart speaker, phone, or HD radio. Find out how at news1130.com slash listen. Vancouver's breaking news, traffic, and weather station. This is News 1130. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us. This is Monday, November 30th. I'm John Ackerman. Along with Rio Renouf in downtown Vancouver, 9 degrees, sunny skies. Here's what's making news right now. There's no end date to the massive spending. Federal Finance Minister Christia Freeland says the government doesn't plan to wind down stimulus and support spending until enough Canadians return to steady work. They didn't find what they were looking for. They found something worse. This from the investigator looking into allegations of a racist game targeting Indigenous patients in BC's emergency rooms. They think the pandemic is a hoax. VPD give us insight into the kind of people they encounter as a few parties are shut down this weekend. It will be a huge game under the lights this evening in Philadelphia as the Seahawks head east to take on the Eagles. Sports at 15. Ready to hire again. One Canadian cannabis company wants to get back on track after a tough 2020 while a losing day snaps a seven-day run for the TSX business of 26. It's 301. To the traffic center and Matt Compton. Hey, John, you're going to find in Vancouver this downed tree blocking commercial drive. It's at William Street, so that's just north of 1st Avenue, south of Venables. Traffic is fully blocked along commercial. Skip that. It's Clark Drive or Victoria Drive as your main alternate route. Highway 1 eastbound, still a pocket of volume around the 216th area after a quick earlier stall by 232nd. The front of the line looks great, but you're still seeing a backup by the 216th merge. Also, a train going through along Highway 17 underneath the Patello Bridge, really jammed up east and westbound for the Highway 17 stretch. With the closure of Columbia in New Westminster between Kerry and Sherbrooke for a storm line upgrade, Brunette and Bray, the intersection, seeing a lot more volume right now. And then Highway 1 eastbound, something happened. 
happening just east of Willingdon. I'm starting to see the volume now on the approach. It's like eastbound there is backed up towards Grandview Highway. Any updates, make sure to give me a call. It's hands-free here to Star 1130. Traffic for Craftsman Collision. Want to breathe easier? Craftsman Collision's drive.